Hello everyone, this is the part 2 of unit 5. In this video, we will study about different deflection technique for fault tolerance services, definition of error, fault, failure and fault tolerance, need of fault tolerance and different types of failure models. There are two techniques which provides fault tolerance services. One is passive replication model and second is active replication model. Primary model is done by primary backup and active replication is done by using multicast. We will discuss these two one by one. Here is passive replication model. This is the diagram of passive replication model or primary backup. In a passive model, there is only a single primary replica manager and one or more replica manager that is backups. Here this is only a primary manager and other are the backups. Only a primary replica manager process the client request. Only this will process the client request. The primary replica manager executes the operation and send copy of update data to the backup. If the primary backup fails, one of the backup is promoted to as a primary. If this primary will fail then from this two, one will act as a primary. This is the diagram of passive replication model. In passive replication model, there are sequence of events to be followed which are as follows. Request. Front end issue the client request with unique request ID to the primary replica manager. This will request to the primary replica manager with a unique ID. Coordination. The primary takes each request automatically in a FIFO order. This primary will take the request from the front end in a first come first out order. It is just a preparation for the execution. It maintains the order of request for the execution. Execution. The primary replica manager executes the request and stores the response. This primary replica manager will execute the request and stores the response. Agreement. The primary sends the update to all the backup. This primary replica manager will send the update to all the backups. The backup sends an acknowledgement to the primary replica. Response. The primary responds to the front end which sends the response back to the client. This primary replica will send the response to the front end and front end will respond back to the client. And now active replication. This is done by using the multicast. In active replication model, the replica manager are the state machine that plays the equivalent role and are organized as a group. Each client request is processed by all replica. Front end multicast their request to the group of replica manager and all the replica manager process the request independently and reply. If any replica manager crash then it will not have any impact upon the performance of the service since other remaining replica manager continue to respond in a normal way. This is the diagram of active replication model. Here all the replica manager are connected with the font in and this replica manager will give the response one by one to the font in and font in will give response to the client. If one replica manager will crash then other replica manager will provide the response to the front end and front end will give response to the client. Now sequence of event to be performed in the active replication model are as follow. Request. The front end with unique identifier of client request multicast request to all the replica manager in a totally order fashion. Coordination. The group communication system delivers the request to every replica manager in the same order. Jun order ma request ako sa tei order ma response pani tei order ma unja. Execution. Every replica manager execute the request. All the replica manager are connected with the front end, so every replica manager will respond to the request. Agreement. No agreement phase is needed because every replica manager process request separately. In active replication, no agreement phase is required as every replica manager request are done separately. Response. Each replica manager sends response to the font end. All the replica manager gives the response to the font end separately. This is the event to be performed in a active replication model. Now the definition of error, false, failure and fault tolerance. What is error? A deviation from the correct or expected result of a system component. What is fault? A defect in a system component that can cause an error. Fault can be caused by any hardware, software, network problem, human mistake and so on. What is failure? A situation where a system component does not perform its specific function or services. 
what is fault tolerance the ability of system to continue its function even if the presence of faults fault tolerance can be achieved by using various techniques such as data redundancy replication recovery and so on why do we need fault tolerance in order to provide three main features in distributed system we need fault tolerance that is reliability focuses on a continuous service without any interruption availability system is available at any given moment security prevents any unauthorized access for example patient monitoring system flight control system banking service and so on types of failure models we have already studied this on unit 1 so again here is repeated crash failure occurs when a server crashes or other hardware related problem occurs omission failure occurs when a server does not receive incoming requests from a client or fails to send message in response to client request timing failure occurs when a server fails to respond within a particular amount of time response failure occurs when a server incorrect message in response to client's message arbitrary failure or byzantine failure occurs when a server sends any arbitrary message these are the five different type of failure model now in next video we will study about different approaches of fault tolerance thank you for watching till now if you are new then please share and subscribe the channel so that it can be reached out to many people thank you